Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Just wanted to talk to you a little bit about what has been on my heart lately. Um, so I'm just gonna start off with a little intro. Um, so I'm 21 years old. I have a full-time job. I uh, work from 8 to 4.30. Um, then I go to class from 5 to 8. Sometimes I have a class from 8 to 11. Depends which semester. Last semester I had a class from 8 to 11. So um, recently I've been thinking about spending time with God. And how much of a sacrifice that can be. To just put time aside and spend time with God. And you know... It's hard as a student, as a full-time worker, to really say, okay, I'm going to spend an hour with God. I'm going to spend 20 minutes with God. I'm going to do this, especially with homework, too. And I had to really think about it today because lately it's been a little hard for me um, to just sacrifice that time with God. And I feel like it kind of crept up on me because just a month ago... I would just be in my room all day and just spend time with God and it was just amazing um, so I feel like it's kind of a domino effect um, one time I was in church and I just could not just could not get into the message I could not um, get into praise and worship and you know I love praise and worship because that's the only time that I could just sit there and thank God and I can get into the music and it's just amazing to me um but it was just last last Sunday I just couldn't do it it was just not I was just it just wasn't there and that's when it hit me I realized you know it's because I have grown distant from God sometimes we we get mad and we're like, God, I can't hear your voice. And you really have to stop and question yourself. Um, you know, is it really God staring away from you? God isn't pursuing you? Or is it because you're not there uh, pursuing God? Is it because you have grown distant from God? Whether it's from sin, whether it's from, you know, just choice, from not spending time with God. You know, just ask yourself, have I made the sacrifice to spend time with God? And I really had to question myself. Um... And it's just like with any other relationship. Um, you have to spend time with that person to grow with that person. You know, um, the most the one the most wonderful relationships we have, we spend a lot of time with with um that person. And it's the same thing with God. You have to spend time with God to grow and, you know, have a really good relationship with God. Some people think, oh, just going to church is okay and you know, just praying five minutes in the morning is okay and you know, that's, you know, it's different for everybody, um, but don't just open, open the box and let God out when, when, when you feel like it. God should, you should surround yourself with God all day, every day. Um, you should sacrifice time with God to spend before you go to sleep. And that's kind of what I've been dealing with, like, for the past, like, week, um, because, it really does affect your relationship with God and it really does affect your walk with Christ um so you know my challenge to you is just set aside time to talk with God uh, when I was when I first started college um I really wasn't that close with God I um you know went to parties this and that and um it was just I just felt so distant from God but when I started hanging out with my roommate who was Christian she started introducing me to all these Christian things I was started to feel condemned for for you know not spending time with God for not you know going to church and you know God really does change you on along your walk with, with Christ um, you don't have to come to him perfect you don't have to come to him changed don't feel that way but just allow God to, to work in you so um yeah just try to spend time with God and allow him to work in you I pray every single day I say God please continue to work in me I know I'm not perfect Lord I know I'm not perfect and I don't pretend to be I don't want to be perfect Lord but I thank you that you love me and you still pursuing me and 
I thank you that you pursued me even when I didn't want you to pursue me, even when I didn't care about you, even when I didn't even know you. So, um, just, you know, when I'm, actually, I just thought about this, when I'm driving to work in the morning, and it's just me, and, and you know, I'm listening to um, Christian music, I talk to God like he's my best friend, like he's sitting right next to me in the in the passenger seat. And I make sure I talk to God every single morning. And I make sure when I come home from work I, or before I go to sleep, I talk to God. And sometimes I may slip up because I'm busy or I'm tired. But, you know, it's that sacrifice. God is rewarding God. God cares about you. And, you know, as long as you make that sacrifice, he is going to reward you for it. You know, don't do it just for the reward. But do, do it for the relationship. But still understand that, you know, God you know your works don't go unnoticed everything that you do all the time you go to church all that does not go unnoticed and God is going to reward you for it so continue to grow in Christ and I you know I just will always say um how awesome God is and how awesome everything that he has done in my life just has been amazing and I want to be able to share that with you all I want to be able to show you how amazing God really is um and has been in my life so um I promise you I'm not perfect and I don't pretend to be and um so I I genuinely know the change that that God can um do to somebody the change of mindset um everything so um yeah Thank you for watching. Um, spend time with God. Pray. God wants to spend time with you. Um, he's just waiting for you. He's waiting for you and he wants to bless you. He wants you to live a wonderful and blessed life. Um, so thank you guys. Have a good day.